Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks Search and Destroy video. Today we are going to be checking out this little thing right here, which is, um, uh, I, I don't really know what you'd call it. I guess an ultralight or something. It is, it is tiny and it is, um, yes, it's cute. I like it. So we're going to go ahead and get inside this thing and we're going to fly it around. I just thought we'd have a little bit of fun with it. Uh, and then I think we might actually put some machine guns on it just because why not? I don't know whether it'll be able to lift anything with machine guns, but maybe, so there you go. Anyway, let's get inside this thing and fly around. Okie dokie, so let's go ahead and say we need a stabilizer, we need nav lights, we need a parking brake to actually stop us right now, that's good. Uh, and then we actually need to turn the engine on with six. There we go, we got a um, modular engine in this thing. Uh, we should be able to just go. We got a tiny amount of fuel, not very much at all. Have we got... Can we actually take off with this? It's tiny. This thing is... Oh, God. Why? The stabilizer was, like, pushing us down. All right, we're in the air. We are in the air. Okay, stabilizer being a bit weird, but we're all good. Guys, we're doing it. We're flying. Nice. So, yeah, I know that not a lot of people are actually interested in the uh, build and rescue stuff anymore, but honestly, I think you guys should be. This thing is... I don't even know if this is part of the build and rescue, to be honest. This is just build and then fly around and do nothing because it doesn't really do anything. Um, we can start forest fires. What the? They all fire at once. All of the flares fire at once. That's crazy. Uh, but what I really wanted to do with this thing was try and fly it through a tunnel. So... Let's see if we fit through this thing first, and then we'll try and fly through a tunnel with it, and I guess we'll see what happens from there. Alright, here we go. We're going through this bit. Very nice indeedy. We're then going to go ahead and go through the tunnel, which is around this corner. Let's see if we can do it. I don't think we will, we will be able to, but we'll try. Alright, here we go. Alright, put the stabilizer on, just for uh, cheatiness. Okay, we're doing cheats. Alright, let's go down. I think we might be too big for the tunnel. Maybe we're not. I'm not sure. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, right. We are... We're not lined up very well. We are not lined up very well at all. Uh-oh. 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 Yeah, that... No. That didn't... What the... Way up! Okay, right. That didn't go well at all. That was... That was a bad... Bad attempt. Alright, we're not gonna do any tunnel flying. We're gonna turn this thing into a military beast. Let's do it. Okay, so what can you actually possibly add to this thing to make it a little bit militaristic? Let's go ahead and add light auto cannons because I think that would honestly be pretty good. We're also going to turn it into a military thing by changing its color as well. So let's go ahead and do this to there. There we go. And then the green, this green, onto the white bits. There we go. And I think that's fine. I, I would say that that's fine. Yeah, cool. Right, and then we need the light auto cannon to go underneath the wing. Uh, on presumably both sides. Here we go. And we're going to put that right about there. Very good. Actually, uh, even further in. There we go. And then we need an auto cannon um, rack, I guess. We're going to go with a medium drum. I think it might be way too big for this thing, but we're going to go for it. Okay, cool. So, let's go with high explosive rounds and high explosive rounds. Good. Uh, let's go ahead and give it some electricity. This might be where we fall down, actually. The electricity might be a bad thing. Uh, we'll connect that directly onto there. And same with that one. Good. We're then gonna connect this directly up to spacebar. Uh, if there's nothing on spacebar, there we go. And there we go. Alright, awesome. We're ready to go. I think this thing looks sick. I actually honestly think this thing looks really, really cool. So let's press 6. There we go. Let's turn the nav lights on, just because we can. And let's go for a fly. Is it going to work? I, I think it will. I honestly think we've got a good chance of making this work. Alright, here we go. Lift up. Lift. Pitch. Pitch. Okay, we are flying. We're actually flying it. Okay, good. <laughs> Epic. This is perfect. So, if ever a military ran out of money, and all they needed was uh, some little flying things with auto cannons. Um, this is your boy. This is it. This is what you need. We got ourselves a tiny plane with uh, auto cannons. Also, we can start forest fires as well if we just fly over, I don't know, a forest. And then we just pop our flares. Which seem to sort of destroy the aircraft as well. Watch this. 
Let's look at the aircraft in three, two, one. Look at it, it just like throws it about, which is crazy. But that might start a forest fire, who knows? There we go. All right, cool. Well, anyway, let's see if these actually fire. Yes, they do, awesome. Uh, and let's go shoot our target, which is actually our World War One warship. Let's do it. So if you guys haven't seen the previous video, we actually hit this thing with some torpedoes and um, that explains why it's sort of sinking. Uh, but it hasn't sank yet, which is kind of, uh, that's really interesting. Let's see what happens here, you ready? Let's put the stabilizer on and I guess we can just start shooting whenever we want. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, you know what the problem is there? There's actually a huge problem there. Whenever we shoot them off, we need them to shoot slower because they actually stop it from moving. They slow the plane down. That's crazy. Okay, so what about instead of those? Well, let's delete that and delete that. What about instead of that, we actually have a hard point. So, okie dokie. So let's say one of these. Okay, it goes directly underneath the wing and we'll put it right there. Good. We then need a pivot or something to allow us to have different entities. There we go, we'll do that. And then we need another hard point, like this one, to go directly onto that one. There we go. And we need a um, bomb. So we need a, what is it called? Bomb. If I just type bomb, do we get one? No. Uh, what are they called? Uh, warhead. Warhead, here we go. So I have a small warhead on the front of there. There we go, delete that. And I guess that'll be our bomb, I guess. We'll just have, we'll just drop two bombs. I think that's kind of interesting. We'll go ahead and put the impact threshold very low. And also very low here as well. Five. And I guess we'll see if we can hit the target with these guys. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how this works. Uh, launch. Just is connected to spacebar. And then launch is connected to spacebar. And then that's it. That's all we need to do. Electricity needs to be given to both of these, though, from there. There we go, and that's it. I think that's all we need to do, genuinely. Let's go. Okie dokie, so now, instead of uh, firing our auto cannons, obviously, now we just need to drop our bombs. Let's do it. Okie dokie, here we are taking off, as you guys can see. There we go, we're in the sky. So now, all we need to do is fly to a destination. I'm going to actually bomb this harbor, because why not? Here we go. Let's go ahead and bomb the uh, train station bit, if we can. Let's go slightly sideways, and dive, and drop. There we go, our bombs have been dropped. Let's see what happens. They didn't explode. <laughs> well, that sucks. All right, well, anyway, let's go ahead and try and land this thing as well, because uh, it is important to us. Uh, and honestly, we have started the forest fires that we wanted to, so that's kind of cool too. But anyway, let's go ahead and try and land this thing on the ground. Here we go, sideways. Slow it down a little bit, and... We will land. Okie dokie. Amazing. So you don't even need, like, qualified pilots to fly this thing. It's easy to fly. Amazing. And you can just jump out while it's moving. Perfect. All right. I think we should get the bombs to work, though. Let's do that. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Come on. We got this. So we got our bombs ready. They're equipped. Uh, and they're ready to drop. We added weight to the back end because it doesn't matter which end it's on, I don't think. Uh, yeah. So let's just take off. Let's go. The impact sensor is also on one now, so it doesn't have to be going too fast to actually work. Oh god. Okay, that was the worst takeoff I could have possibly done. The added weight of these bombs does actually impact the flight of this thing, I'm not gonna lie. It does actually do something, which is interesting. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and attack the target and see what happens. Alright, so dive bomb. Drop him. Lift it. Oh, okay, that didn't work. Jump out. Where are they? Oh! Why didn't they blow up? Why won't you blow up? I can't get the bombs to blow up. That's super annoying. Damn it. Wait, our plane's blown off. I don't know where it's gone, but it is flying away. Let's go ahead and see. Teleport to destination. Anyone see my plane? Does anyone see it? It's like... Oh, I think it might have crashed now. Yeah, it crashed. Wow. Ripperoni and pepperoni to you. Okay, so apparently the bombs are not that effective. Uh, I'm gonna try it, an impact sensor. Let's just see if it works. So we'll put the impact sensor on the, the rear of the bombs. There we go. Uh, we'll connect them directly up to the bombs. So we'll do this. And we'll do this. 
and we'll make sure they do explode if they are going one meter per second. One meter per second. Go. Go, go, go. We might have to ram the plane into something to make that happen, but who knows? Okie dokie. So we're in the sky. Let's go ahead and fly towards our destination, which is uh, anywhere at this point, to be honest. So we'll go ahead and fly this direction. Okie dokie. And then I think we'll just drop it whenever we want. I don't know. Let's just drop it, like, dive. All right, we've got a load of speed going. Now drop them. Okay, they look like they have a lot of speed on them. And they exploded. Okay, excellent. It works now. Perfect. Well, anyway, uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and end this video here for now. If you guys want to check out this plane, I'll link it down below. It is actually quite an old creation, so um, I'm actually really happy that I found it again. So there you go. But anyway, if you guys want to check it out and uh, add your own weaponry to it, let me know in the comments down below what you end up building. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, goodbye.